Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to the Friday Night Smackdown review. And tonight was uh, Smackdown's go-home show for Extreme Rules, the horror show, which is happening this Sunday. And Smackdown tonight, what more can I say? Show is absolutely terrible, god-awful. Yawn down, shit down, whatever you know you want to call it. It deserves the title of the show. Because show every week gets worse and worse. Last week being one of the worst SmackDowns since their move to Fox. And the show revolved around tonight uh, Styles and Matt Riddle. And uh, their Intercontinental Championship was on the line. And the, sh the show revolved around you know both of them. And... Uh, that was the uh, the main event to uh, the show tonight. And everything aside from that and Cesaro versus Big E, which was the uh, first match uh, tonight. Aside from those two matches, everything else I could care less about. But let's jump right into the SmackDown review. Waste no time. Hopefully this will be a short review. So, SmackDown opened up tonight with AJ Styles. And he was hyping uh, his match tonight against Matt Riddle, of course, like I said, which was the main event. Styles ended up saying that he only lost previously because Riddle, Matt Riddle, caught him by surprise. He ended up saying tonight he has no choice because... This is the house that he built. This is the house that AJ Styles built. Of course, you know, SmackDown is the house that AJ Styles built. So that's what Styles had to say. And then it ended up coming to Matt Riddle, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle ended up wondering if AJ stands for arrogant jackass. <laughs> Which uh, I laughed at. He ended up saying that at the end of the night, he'll be the bro who runs the show. And then we cut to The Miz and John Morrison. They end up talking about uh, how Morrison's match against Braun Strowman, uh, which happened later on uh, in the night. So Morrison admitted that he's terrified going into his match with Braun Strowman later on. And then after that, it cut to Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman was telling John Morrison that the horror show might just start tonight. Because, of course, Strowman has Bray Wyatt on his mind. They're going to be headed into the Swamp uh, match on Sunday. You can tell that Braun Strowman was not in the mood. And then we went to the first match, of course, which was Big E versus Cesaro. Big E came out, of course, along with Kofi Kingston. Cesaro, of course, came out with Nakamura. And the winner of this match, whether it be Big E or Cesaro, the winner got to pick the stipulation for their match at Extreme Rules this Sunday. And the SmackDown Tag Team... Championship is going to be on the line. So the winner got to choose whether the stipulation would be a tables match or a steel cage match. And the match was decent. Uh, right when the match started, Big E ended up going right after Cesaro, uh, sending Cesaro out of the ring. Big E then ended up uh, sending Cesaro into the ring steps. And... Uh, later on in the match, towards the end of the match, you had uh, Big E uh, lifting uh, Cesaro up. Cesaro was hanging on the ropes, and he got swung around. The referee, who was Jessica Carr, had to uh, get out of the way. She ducked out of the way. And then Nakamura comes on the ring apron. He ended up kicking Big E, and that gave Cesaro the chance to Hit the neutralizer to uh, Big E. 
And there you go, Cesaro end up win the match. You know, thanks to uh, thanks to Nakamura. Post match, you had Cesaro and Nakamura. They end up uh, retrieving a table out from under the ring. And you know, right there, you already know what the stipulation is for that match on Sunday. Gave it away right there. WWE gave it away right there. No, but nothing. Not WWE do, doesn't do anything. You know, surprising anymore. You know, we all know that. They just give it away like that. So uh, Kofi ended up running and he leapt over the top rope, took out both Cesaro and Nakamura. Kofi ended up putting Cesaro on the table and he ended up climbing to the top, but Nakamura ended up pulling Cesaro away. So basically that was that, but Clearly right there, you already know what the stipulation is going to be. And they did announce it, though. Because you had uh, Cesaro Nakamura say, oh, you know, a steel cage match. You know, that, that, would be, that would be easy. How about we make it a tables match? So there you go. Uh, Extreme Rules, the horror show this Sunday. It's going to be the New Day versus Cesaro Nakamura in a tables match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. And there you go. Then you had Kayla Braxton, which Kayla Braxton made her return uh, tonight. Uh, she was off TV because uh, she was tested positive for COVID. And, you know, was glad to see her back. Glad to see that, you know, she looked a lot better. And... I think from what I read in an article, she had uh, COVID uh, twice. Maybe wrong in that, but I read that in the article. Don't know if that's true or not, but I, the, but I know that she had she had COVID and she was tested she was tested positive for it. But it was glad to see Kayla Braxton back, and she ended up uh, interviewing. Boring Corbin, Baron Corbin, about Matt Riddle's match against AJ Styles. Corbin ended up saying that Styles is one of the best ever, while Riddle can't even remember to put his shoes on. There you go. What? What is the whole? What is the whole deal, or the whole obsession on Matt Riddle's shoes of him not wearing shoes? What is the obsession about that? Sorry about that, but I was saying, you know, what's the whole obsession with Matt Riddle and shoes or his flip or his flip flops? What's the whole obsession with that? But Corbin ended up saying that he thinks it will be a quick one with Styles getting the win. Corbin then ended up admitted that Riddle is ambitious, thinking he should go after the big names. And that he's going to get burned. Corbin ended up saying that once Styles takes him out, people will see the bro is a little boy. So that was that, but whatever. Whatever what Corbin had to say. We had a moment of piss, a moment of shit with Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. They end up talking about the woman's evolution which uh, marked five years uh, since that uh, since that happened. Alexa Bliss ended up saying that she wanted to look into the future a bit. She ended up predicting Matt Riddle will beat AJ Styles uh, later on tonight and that Braun Strowman will beat Bray Wyatt at Extreme Rules. And she ended up uh, naming her mystery guest for uh, a moment of bliss. And they they were building this up like, oh, it's going to be some uh, good uh, mystery guest, hyped up and everything. So Nikki Cross ended up saying that she thinks it's her as the mystery guest, but it wasn't. So then out came Sasha and Bailey, 
Bailey end up uh, saying that Nick Cross is going to be a failure in uh, their match on Sunday. Bailey end up saying about the woman's evolution. And Alexa Bliss end up forgetting to mention that, you know, Bailey and Sasha, you know, with the woman's evolution. And they were the foundation of that evolution. And they, you know, they built the ring. They sat, they sit in. So Sasha ended up saying, you're welcome. And Bailey said after Sunday, they will not only be the tag team champions, but they will rule both SmackDown and Raw. And so Alexa ended up saying, that's not, that's nice and all. And they never let, you know, they never let Sasha and Bailey never let her announce, you know, this mystery guest. So the mystery guest was revealed to be Asuka. Oh, a miss, that was the, Asuka was the mystery guest. I'm not even shocked at all. So Bailey and Sasha end up deciding to attack Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross while Asuka made her way out. Asuka ended up running to the ring. She ended up uh, clearing them out. So Alexa Bliss ended up saying that these four need to settle their issues. She ends up calling for a referee to come out. So that was that. But boring. Boring segment. But Sasha and Bailey still continue to deliver, you know, their best on WWE television. They, they're like, they're the best uh, going in this dead woman's uh, division. So then Daniel Bryan uh, did some footage earlier in the day where he believed that Styles can be a great fighting champ, great fighting champions. And... He ended up knowing Styles has the fire in him to stay champion. And so Daniel Bryan's pick uh, for the match to win, his pick was Matt Riddle. Because he ended up saying that he knows Drew Gulak is helping Matt Riddle train. So that was that. So there you go. We had Daniel Bryan's pick to win the match. Then we had Oscar and Nikki Cross versus Sasha Banks and... Bailey, this was a very meh match. Didn't even care for it. Sasha and Bailey end up winning. Bailey end up uh, putting her feet on the ropes, uh, and that was that. Sasha and Bailey end up winning the match. So Bailey uh, had her, like I said, had her foot on the ropes. There you go. So, we had also uh, a Firefly Funhouse uh, episode, uh, which was set out in the swamp, in a swamp. Bray Wyatt was dressed like his old self, you know, the old school Bray Wyatt, the buzzard Bray Wyatt. So, he's walking along and he stares out the, out the swamp and he ends up saying that it's beautiful, isn't it? Peaceful. So he then ended up talking about how Braun Strowman first stepped foot where he is and that Strowman was just a lost sheep and why it gave him the truth and a purpose. So Bray Wyatt ended up saying, then Strowman left, or so he thought. Bray Wyatt ended up saying that this swamp is a place where darkness comes to life and all the horrors of the world feel right at home. He ended up saying that he knows the monster he created is just scratching to come back home. He ended up saying that he doesn't think Strowman can be on his own. He can't control the gifts he's been given. So he now must have to destroy the monster. He ends up saying to Strowman, you know where to find me, brother. And that was that. So pretty, uh, pretty decent Firefly Funhouse. Then we have Braun Strowman versus uh, John Morrison. This was shit. This was garbage. Absolutely embarrassing for John Morrison. He got he was basically a jobber throughout this match. Strowman got on the mic before the match and he ended up saying, there's a time when a man has to grow up. 
and face his fears. He kept saying that he's going to do that this Sunday when he walks through the gates of hell and smack the devil in the face. Meaning Bray Wyatt. He kept saying that the last thing he wants is Bray Wyatt turning into the fiend because it's everything that embodies what's bad about him. And that he needs to destroy Bray Wyatt before he destroys him. And this was a very intense uh, promo that Strowman ended up doing because he was pissed. You know, he really, he really wanted to get his hands on uh, Bray Wyatt. He can't wait to get his hands on him. And so the, the match was shit. Braun Strowman ended up winning, running power slam on John Morrison. Post match, Braun ended up getting him back on the mic. He ended up saying that he hopes Bray was watching. Because he's coming home. So Strowman ended up laughing and he headed back to the he headed to the back. Miz was out there. He was calling out for uh, medical help. So he had uh, them come out with a stretcher for Morrison. Morrison uh, didn't want it. Miz ended up helping Morrison uh, out of the ring. And then we went to Lacey Evans making her way out. So, then SmackDown uh, went to commercial, and then when SmackDown came back, Lacey was on the mic, and she ended up saying that Naomi's glow will be nothing but a little sparkle after tonight. So, yeah, there we go. We had Lacey Evans versus Naomi. Lacey Evans ended up winning with a woman's right. Moving on. So we had Caleb Braxton with Jeff Hardy. And you know, she was talking about how Seamus, uh, she tells Jeff Hardy how Seamus was taunting him with toast and trying and Seamus trying uh, Jeff Hardy to drink alcohol. So she ends up going on to mention that both Jeff Hardy and Seamus will be in a bar fight, Sunday at Extreme Rules. So Jeff Hardy ended up telling Caleb Braxton that it might be risky for him. To walk into a bar. He ended up saying that Seamus is like an addiction. And something that he has to fight off. He ended up saying that maybe in the end. Seamus will look himself in the mirror. And not like what he sees. So. He ended up. Caleb Brax ended up asking. Uh, him who. Uh, might win the main event. Whether it be Styles or Matt Riddle. So as Jeff Hardy was. Uh, going to give who he wanted to uh, win in that match later on the night. Sheamus then ended up delivering a boot to Jeff Hardy's face. So Sheamus ended up telling Jeff Hardy that he is right. He can't wish his demons away. Sheamus says that's what he's here to do. So that was basically that. So then Caleb Braxton uh, was with Sasha and Bailey. Bailey ended up saying that, you know, that, that uh, about her momentum. Caleb Braxton was asking Bailey if uh, their momentum will continue on Sunday, uh, Bailey and Sasha. So Bailey ended up saying that, of course, says, of course it will. Because when she has two titles, she has more mass than Nikki. Bailey ended up saying that Sasha will be two belts banks. So then Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss were watching uh, Bailey and Sasha on uh, the monitor. Nikki Cross ended up saying that her team should have won tonight. And that she doesn't want to blow it on Sunday. Alexa ends up telling Nikki that she'll be fine. So Nikki Cross ended up saying that she just doesn't get the same opportunities as Bliss and doesn't want to lose with her family watching on. So then we hear Bailey and Sasha laughing. Nikki Cross ends up running over there, knocks Bailey down from behind. She ends up shoving Sasha to the ground. And pretty much that was basically that. So. Then we went to the main event. AJ Styles versus Matt Riddle for the Intercontinental Championship. 
this was a good main event. Very good uh, main event between uh, the both of them. So we had Matt Riddle start off the match with some gut wrench suplexes on AJ Styles. And Styles ended up heading out to the floor. And Styles was, you know, very frustrated. He was bashing the announcer, the announce table with his fists. Matt Riddle then went out and mocked Styles, uh, banging his fists on the announce table, which was funny. But uh, Styles ended up getting the win. Uh, Riddle uh, locked in the uh, bro mission to Styles. Styles ended up reversing out of it. And he went for a uh, pin. And there you go. Styles ended up winning the match, retaining the, Inter the Intercontinental Championship, which we all knew. There was no way that's, that, you know, stop. That's, there was no way that Matt Riddle was uh, winning the Intercontinental title, you know, that fast since, you know, he just debuted on the main roster. But post match. Matt Riddle couldn't believe that he lost the match. And then he Styles ended up going over to Matt Riddle. Styles ended up putting his hand out. Matt Riddle ended up shaking it. And then we had Corbin attack Matt Riddle from behind. Starts swinging away on Matt Riddle. Corbin ends up hitting the end of days to Matt Riddle. And that was basically how SmackDown ended. So... There you go. That's the next uh that's the next match for Matt Riddle. It's gonna be him versus Corbin. But yeah, that was SmackDown tonight. That was the Golem show for Extreme Rules, the horror show. Terrible show, as always. Anyways, that's it for the SmackDown review. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. And definitely give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I don't know if I I will be doing Extreme Rules, uh, the horror show review this Sunday. I'm going to be working late, so I don't know if I will review it, but uh, in its place, I do have another uh, MTV2 uh, commercial break uh, that I just uh, finished working on, so that will be the next video. So I know a lot of you will probably uh, enjoy that. That commercial break is from uh, December of 2005. So that's the next uh, video, another MTV2 commercial break. So thank you all for watching, and enjoy the uh, the commercial break video, uh, which will be uh, coming up tomorrow. Should be up tomorrow night. So I will see you all later.